as a day one yes they need to work on stuff. But, like to sit there and whine for an entire video. Like get over it they are doing great and it's much better than it was before they started to actively work on the game again be grateful and just be patient. Quit whining or stop playing. Before we go any further into the video, I wanted to say I love the comment section. It gives you a chance to share your opinion and prove why your opinion is valid. But if you're not going to actually offer constructive proofs, I mean, I have no problem showing you some examples of how hard they are trying. Now, I wanted to say I do appreciate all the discussion that happens in the comments, especially on the last video. And I like it when people actually have constructive conversations with actual criticisms that maybe can enlighten others. But you always come across the comments that make you question if everyone has an education under their belt of any kind. I don't know if you guys experienced this in school, but if you ever did an essay or a report, one of the things you had to do was actually make sure that your spelling, your grammatical errors were fixed and stuff like that because you would you would get marked off for that, right? Your mistakes. The teacher would criticize those mistakes and you'd lose grade point averages because of them. Um that's what I hold Funcom to. This isn't a game in alpha anymore. It isn't beta, it isn't a test game. It's a fully released game on PC consoles and whatnot, it's fully released. This game should be in a polished state at this point. Now, if you disagree with that, I guess it's because in 2023, you have just learned to accept the broken state that games come out in nowadays. Not like the good old days when you'd go to the store and pick up a game and pop, pop that cartridge in and it was good to go because that game went through hours of testing. Yeah, you could still find some bugs and exploits, but the core game itself ran great. That that was good business. You know, if you're gonna release a product, you, you couldn't put an update now. Game companies in general and Funcom especially have become quite lazy with this. They don't actually take the time to test their own updates and things that they're implementing into the game. They they rely on the public too much but so many times in the past and even still as it is 
The test live is nothing more than something people hop on to experience the new changes, find new exploits, bugs, glitches, and all that good nonsense that will most likely come to the game. Because at the end of the day, it's kind of ironic that I can log into the test live and I can still use the improved dismantling bench and get back the resources without having to actually break down the item. Uh, are they not aware of this? Do they not know how to fix this? That seems like something you would want to fix. Can we talk about fly bases? Why are fly bases still a thing? They've been around for years. People building in the mesh, people being able to pull loot from buildings, people being able to dupe and the there's tons of exploits and things we could talk about that have existed and they they almost become you know like a veteran player's knowledge book of conan exiles tips and tricks that most people don't know and uh until certain youtubers find out about them and then try to capitalize on the fact that they exist to get views then the, the public usually doesn't know about it unless word of mouth uh, that, sh that shouldn't exist. Like, uh, if you, if you're going to tell me they're doing a great job, show me, please show me because I'm actually looking at the game and Funcom without blinders on. And I, I actually play the game. So I experience these bugs, exploits, the, all the cheaters that run around. I, I experience this stuff. Um, are you playing PVE? I mean, even cheaters run around on PVE and, you know, I think once that happens, then Funcom's like, oh, whoop, 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 we got to fix this. And to be honest, I know Funcom has been trying to do things on the back end, but at the end of the day, I feel like most of the reasons why cheats have been down so much as we have talked in the clan. And if you even go look at BattleEye updates, it's because BattleEye has been pushing out more updates. So it's not even Funcom, it's their third party anti-cheat that has actually been cracking down on the cheat more than Funcom themselves. If you if you if you haven't watched my rant series before, I, I have praised Funcom plenty of times. I'm very happy about this new update because guess what? Goomba is going away. It was a cheap tactic, it shouldn't exist. It was fun to use though. Come on, everyone's used Goomba and it is kind of fun crushing someone because you know how upset they're gonna get. And I'd like to preface with that being said that I love Conan for what it is. I would love to see Conan as a polished, balanced game that actually just works flawlessly. But I've kind of given up hope on that because they keep just cranking out new content. And instead of taking time to say, hey, guys, we could release more updates for the game. But why don't we take some time to actually address things that have been persistent issues in the game before we release more content there should be a voice of reason in there because this is a business okay you you want your product to be the best that it can be so then it pulls in more revenue is if it's good business it's good for the customer you guys make more money we get to have more fun on your game it's a win-win conan is one of those games that it has the same kind of player base, you run into the same players, you, you run into some new casuals to the game, but eventually once they get wiped out, eh, they just kind of disappear and move on to the next game. Or a cheater comes along, cleans their base out, kills them multiple times, takes everything they have, eh, they just quit the game. Why waste their time? You should not want your community of players to feel that way about your game. You should want to address these issues so people all feel like they're on a fair playing field i don't think anything i'm saying here is crazy or obscene i think it's pretty obvious and i don't even think this can classify as a rant it's just basic information that you would want to do if you're ever going to open a business you want to release the best product you can to the public and become known for releasing great titles that people are interested in and want to play but Funcom over the years ha as a developer has become kind of a joke of the gaming community. When I first got back into Conan, because when Conan first came out, I was promised dynamic fighting system and I was literally doing the same attack with every weapon and I looked like an idiot. I was like, this game is trash. I'll come back to it later. While they have improved on a lot of things, every time they improve something, they break something. It's just the Funcom way. It always has been. 
I'm, I'm not sure if sometimes negative comments come from people that aren't very experienced with the game, aren't veteran players, don't have the hours. Maybe they play on a very low pop server where it's just like, yay, look at me, I'm farming. Yay, I'm building. Maybe that's what you want to do and you play PvE, so the game's a lot of fun for you. But I like PvP games. I like having that risk to reward, knowing that someone could creep up on me and kill me and take everything I have from me right now, and I might have to fight for it. I like that threat. It makes the game engaging and more fun to me as a person. You might have different preferences, and that's fine. But at the end of the day, how can you disagree that a company should polish their game to the best of their ability before releasing more content that could potentially break the game. I'm pretty sure that's sound reasoning. Maybe I'm crazy, or maybe it's just the fact that I'm not here to try to get sponsored by Funcom or Funcom's attention so they post my video on their launcher. I don't care about that. There's plenty of content creators out there who are going to feed you that bullshit on a silver spoon and maybe you want to buy it go for it that is completely up to you but on my channel i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it honest and i'm gonna keep it logical with you and if you appreciate that and i appreciate you for sticking around i love seeing the regulars in the comments i, I love seeing the people that have watched the rant series and understand it you guys know i know you guys know deep down I don't hate this game. I love this game. I wouldn't make content for this game if I didn't like it. I wouldn't play it if I didn't like it. I'm just trying to open people's eyes to the fact that Funcom has become a greedy corporation that doesn't truly care about their products. And instead of taking the time to polish and making the best game possible, they just try to squeeze every last dime out of it for financial gain rather than actually caring about the community as a whole as a whole, every individual that plays the game, the actual community, all parts in balancing the game and making it work for everyone when, you know, they just decide to come up with new changes that could affect different things differently. It's, it's just, it's just common knowledge. You know, the, you would think there would be someone in the studio saying, Hey, what if this breaks that? What if that breaks that? Shouldn't we fix this first? Blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. I'm just going off now. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that uh, I hope that clears it up for some people. I don't hate the game. <laughs> I'm not going to quit playing the game. Uh, you can come find me on official servers. I will be there. Uh, you can come fight me. You can come raid me. Uh, I'm still going to be here for the great shit show to come and the next one to come. And until this game is dead in the ground, I'll probably still be here because I actually enjoy playing the game. I just don't want to kiss Funcom's ass and praise them when there are uh, just records and troves of information of how, you know, they have handled this game. And uh, I don't know. I'm done. <laughs>